The biggest threat is the terror of not knowing what is going to happen and, and that it can happen at any time. I'm not strong, I'm afraid. When the war began, I just left with my children. I don't think it's a place for children and not for people at all. I'm not strong, but I can't forget this is my home. This is the place I live. This is the place I was born. This is the place I like to live. פתאום אתה שומע שריקה מעליך ופיצוץ אדיר, ואז, אוקיי, זו מרגמה כי גם לא הייתה אזעקה, ואז אתה מתחיל לשמוע עוד כמה מרגמות, כי הם יורים במטחים. זה לא חיי שגרה. לא, לא במודע ולא בתת מודע כשאתה חי תחת איום כזה, לא לנו ולא לילדים ולא לאף בן אדם שחי פה. For the last 14 years now, we have uh, got used to the reality of being shelled by mortar shells, Kassam missiles, snipers shooting every now and then. It started 14 years ago, and it continued even after Israel withdrew completely from the Gaza Strip, which means there's no single Israel in the Gaza Strip starting 2005. If I had young children growing up today, I do not know in all honesty, as much as I love this place, if I would be willing to raise my children here. You have less than five seconds, you have less than three seconds to hide. And uh, once you hear the alarm, and sometimes you hear them very often, the only thing I want to go is to see my kids and hold them tight and know that they are safe. And unfortunately, I can't give them that uh, safety. You don't let your child to go to play football in the... with the children, because you're afraid. It's going on year after year after year, and our kids think this is life. This is not life, and no kids should live like this.